I mean, I can flip a 21 year old there. I would not be able to do that. And it says, God, I don't know what's wrong with me. I hate this. Um, I said, I just want to cry. I was involved in softball, basketball, volleyball, track, show choir, and I, I loved being in school. I loved having just the school, high school surroundings, being around my friends. I, I was very active and that all changed when I got the Gardasil shot. I had to stop sports. I blacked out and fainted. My grades went from A's and B's to B's and C's. I had to be hospitalized three times. I've had more 911 calls than I can count. If, if I had never gotten this shot, I would be a normal teenager and I wish I could go back to when I could ride my bike from one side of our small town to the next. And I just can't do that now. This is my home health kit. Um, basically what we're trying to do before something happens. This is the blood sugar tester, the jigger. Oxycodone is what I take when I have really bad back pains. Promethazine is pretty much taken daily. It's for nausea, and if I don't take one before I eat, I, f I throw up and get sick. There's two different types of episodes, and one would be having the back pain and the inflammation of my muscles. Um, how I describe the back pain is more like being stabbed in the back with a knife and at the same time having someone put a lighter under the muscle and then another person taking my muscles and stretching them and twisting them and it's, it's just a horrible pain. It's, I would never wish it on anyone. It, it's extremely painful. I have trouble breathing. I break out in a rash all around my neck, down my neck and all around my face which we later found out was because blood vessels were popping in my face. And then the second episode is I just get really tired and it's kind of hard to move and and then I just, my legs go numb. I can't feel anything, I can't walk, I can't feel someone touch me. And that is one of the scariest feelings in the world, seeing someone touch your leg that you've been able to walk on your entire life and not feel it. This is a nebulizer, and I have to take it with when I have um, back inflammation or trouble breathing. And then we have the blood pressure monitor. I'm constantly thinking of okay, am I going to be lightheaded in 10 minutes? Am I okay to drive? Am, do I need to have someone come pick me up? Or am I going to be fine to walk all day long? Because I don't know. And there's other times when I just am sick for an entire month. And in the middle of an episode, I can just be screaming and saying that I want it to stop. I want it to be over. This was this year. I was okay to actually go to homecoming. But, I mean, I was even tired afterwards. I miss being able just to keep up with people, being able to go out with friends and not have to watch them do stuff because I know I don't have the strength to do it. Or when everyone goes to hang out at one person's house, staying in the same room as them, I have to go and lay down and sleep because I can't stay awake. I wish there was a way to cure this and I hope that they can figure something out, a treatment plan, but I can't plan for that. I have to, um, I have to think of my life if this never went away. <laughs>